Welcome to Mr. Bacon Pants Plays Games, and today we're playing Star Realms. Yeah, so in the channel, I've been playing a lot of Hero Realms. Uh, you know, that, because it's in beta, it's new, it's exciting. Yeah, everyone wants to play the new exciting things. So uh, I figured it'd be a great time. It would be a great time uh, to kind of go back and play Star Realms. For those of you who you know maybe new to the channel, new to new to digital gaming, who who have never seen Star Realms, you know, I thought it might be kind of cool to show it off. And you know, why not? All right, so it's made by obviously the same developer that's making Hero Realms. Uh, so there's not much difference there. Uh, you can see that the launch screen looks very similar, has this like rotating banner. Um, but obviously this one is a little bit, you know, more developed, right? Because it's, it's out of beta. It's been out of beta for a long time. Uh, they added a lot of great features during the course of its lifespan. And there's it's still being actively developed uh, today. Uh, so we have, we have online features, uh, which is pretty robust, right? It's, I think it's a little more robust or built out than the current beta for Hero Realms. So we have this arena play, uh, tournaments. You know, this arena play is kind of like you're... You're kind of working your way up through tiers of multiplayer. So like it's like, you know, seasons or whatever in uh, other multiplayer games. We have tournaments and challenges where you can challenge your friends. Uh, one thing I like about this is that if you click, if I clicked challenge, you'd see my friends list and people that I could uh, challenge. Uh, campaign play is interesting. It, it's I don't particularly like it, uh, but each new expansion uh, kind of gives you some some additional campaign uh, playthroughs or scenarios that you can play through. Each one kind of changes the rules a little bit on like wh what you need to do to win or maybe you know, certain cards will act a certain way or maybe you start with cards already in your tableau. And then there's also a little like story cutscene uh, that plays with like some cool artwork and voiceover. You know, so if you're into that kind of thing and you just want to kind of play some you know AI games but you want something a little bit more, you know, this, this is serviceable. Uh, it's cool that it's there. Uh, basically, you also have your standard uh, versus the AI mode. Pass and play. I love when digital games put in a pass and play mode. I don't use it that much myself, but I like that it's there. That if I have friends over, hey, you want to check out Star Realms? You know, maybe I don't have the physical version, even though I do. Uh, you know, hey, you want to check out Star Realms? You know, let's play a game together. Boom, pass and play. I love it. Same device. Uh, how to play obviously tells you how to play and then store you know there's a lot of expansions in the base game and they pretty much ported them all over to the digital uh, a lot of them i have not bought yet but i have bought you know all the ones that i care about but i, I like buying the big decks uh, so i bought like the the colony world wars which was like a new deck you know things like that i, I like getting a lot of variety so i'm gonna go ahead and kick off a verse the ai um, so as you can see, I have really just like the the you know the core sets that kind of came out for each each track of expansions. I did start buying some of the core set, you know, probably a year ago when I was playing playing this with my friends quite a bit. Um, you know, I do like all the expansions. I do have you know all of the core set expansions in the physical form. Uh, they, they're nice. They add a little bit. Like events is interesting where you kind of throw these cards and when you draw them to fill the center row, something happens and then you discard it. You know, bases just adds more bases. Heroes adds, you know, cards that kind of stay in front of you and then you can kind of like discard them for effects, kind of like what uh, some of your abilities in the hero realms do. So they're all worth it. I just haven't really dug into it that much. Uh, like I said, a lot of my friends moved on to other games, you know, other multiplayer games. So... Uh, we kind of took a break on the core set or on Star Realms and really just kind of stuck with these core sets. I'm going to go ahead and play just the base game hard. Just to kind of show you guys what it's like. Yeah, I'm sure you're noticing a lot of differences with Hero Realms. And if you have played this game, you're probably being reminded of, you know, what are the differences. So, yeah, basically, instead of um, like gold, you have a scout ship that produces gold. I guess the idea is that it's like scouting around the universe and getting you resources. All right, so I always liked going green in Star Realms and yellow. I think that's what I'm gonna do today. All right, so I'm gonna buy this. Yep, acquire and acquire. And end my turn. All right, so let's see what the AI does. 
They hit me. That hurts. Play off. I'll do this. Interface is a little different than here around, so it's take me a while to get used to like to double click to get cards. I'm trying to think if I should buy the shuttle. I, I can't trash it. I don't I'm not planning on buying <coughs> a lot of uh, blue cards, but it does give me two gold. I mean this is this gives me two gold, but um I can trash it. I think I'm just going to do it because I, I need some gold. It's just one blue. I mean, if I splash a little blue, I think that's okay. I think that the theme of Hero Realms is better than Star Realms. It just, I, I like it better. It, it's a little more... Um, I don't know engaging i think this is like a little bit more generic sci-fi i think if you get a little bit more into the lore it gets a little exciting but but i just haven't really got into like the lore all right so i can discard this or actually trash it and get a dr card draw i don't think i'm going to do that right now uh bases are kind of like champions in hero realms uh they kind of stay out and play and protect you if you have the black shield your opponent has to destroy that first before they can get to you so maybe I am going to splash blue just to get this trading post. And I can always trash it. So I could buy this for three and then buy one of these for, for three. I'm going to do the ram. Just want to be a little aggressive. I'm going to be green deck wins instead of red deck wins green deck wins playing that burn yeah if you play magic the gathering or if you don't know what magic the gathering is it's the card game uh and one of the decks in that card game is called red deck wins and it's like you know there's different colored cards um in that game and a popular deck type is just putting a bunch of damage red cards together you know things that do direct damage into the deck um, creatures with haste, which means they attack the turn they come into play. And being really aggressive on attacking and swarming your opponent. Alright, I am definitely... I love discard. As you know, when I play Hero Realms. Oh man, I was going to buy this guy to get the card draw, but I have the opportunity. Yeah. There we go. Man, this game is just giving me all the pet cards. Just blobs. I'm a very blob. I'm a blob player. Alright, let's play the let's play all. Oh, I should uh, oh yeah, scrap a card in the trade row. What do I want to deny? It looks like they might be going blue. But I also don't want them to have defense, so we'll get rid of battle station. Oh look at that. Right into some more blob. Should I splash blue? I mean, maybe I just... Whatever. I'm going to splash a little blue in there. It just feels right. Alright, so... We got our base out. Discard. Have fun with that. Alright. Eight damage coming your way, computer. Wait. Wait. Cancel. It wants me to... Pro oh. Oh, yeah. I have to choose. Dar darn it. I mean, I would have got one more gold when I changed my play. So, I think I'm okay. Yeah. If you notice, there's no undo uh, in Star Realms. But there is an undo in Hero Realms. I think that kind of shows you that maybe it's more about the role play in Hero Realms. That they want players to be happy about what they do each turn. You know? Because you're kind of like role playing a character. In this game, you're like, I am just a... An anonymous admiral. I have no emotions or feelings. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Hmm. Well, let's, let's wait. Let's think about what we want to do. 
Dun, dun, dun. I love the music in this game, though. It's a little bit more happening. All right, well, let's go ahead and, and activate this ability. Destroy a target base and or scrap a card in the trade row. I'll go ahead. I can't buy the battle cruiser. I don't want the computer to buy it. If I can't buy, if I can't buy it, no one can. Um, all right, so I got a couple more options. Thinking about buying the base. I like having bases, and then I'll get this. Whoa, look at that. Just pulling in right into like the my uh, strategy here. All right, we're going to hit him for 12. I think if I keep this up, I'm pretty sure I'm going to probably beat him in like, I don't know, two to three turns. I might need to splash some red just to scrap some of these crap cards. I should have been doing that a little bit earlier on. It's kind of a little late to start that now. But maybe... Maybe I'll buy this just for the privilege. All right, and then, yeah, get rid of the base. All right, so I think if I do aggressive play, this game's going to be over real quick. Looks like my next hand is not very aggressive. I mean, I could get it up to eight if I really wanted to, if I really wanted to push it. Don't know if I want to do that though. I could get up to six, but I don't think I need to do that. I'm going to go ahead and acquire that. I don't think I need to be that aggressive to trash this right now. So I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. Okay, here we go. So we got the base. We're going to draw a card. Have fun discarding cards. Now I do have an option. Do I want to get aggressive? I guess it's going to be more than three turns. I was wrong. Okay, I'm thinking I want to get this. Because then I can just trash it. All right. Hmm. Should I get them down to 10? I have plenty of life. I don't need to worry about them knocking me out. All right. Here we go. This is it. This is the turn I've been looking for. Play all. Just look at that. Just blasting them. Let's go ahead and just scrap it. All right, and then blow that up. Oh, yeah. Cancel. Read your cards. Pro tip. Read your cards. If that's any, if any, if there's any tip that I can give you, it's read your cards. All right, there you go. I won. I think it was four turns when I said it was going to be two to three. So I do apologize for being wrong. Um, but yeah, this is Hero Realms. I mean, sorry, this is Star Realms. Uh, as you can see, very similar gameplay, but there's a lot of differences as well. I mean, I feel like, you know, Star Realms is a more focused game of this type. You know, very tight. It's a very tight game, um, especially the base game without those you know, added mechanics and this expansions. Hero Realms, I think, adds, you know, really in that base game, adds a lot of complexity. Um, but I feel it's a more thematic, semantic and, and engaging game than uh, Star Realms. But if I had to play either of them, I think I'd be happy with playing either of them. I mean, I, I if someone's like, choose, I would probably choose Hero Realms. But if someone's like, oh, you can play as Star Realms, I wouldn't be disappointed. Um, but... Yeah, that is Star Realms. I just wanted you guys to check it out. I, fig I figured, you know, hey, we're playing Hero Realms. Let's go ahead and check out Star Realms, let you know how I feel about it. Um, and if, th you know, the amount of polish, the amount of features that are in Star Realms, I think shows you what the roadmap is for Hero Realms and how amazing that game is going to be because 
they're taking everything they learned from this game, you know, the digital adaptation of this game, and they're going to put put that into Hero Realms plus some. There's different modes, you know, there's different features uh, that are getting into the new game. So I am excited. And this just shows me where they're starting from. And they're starting from a really great base to build, you know, Hero Realms from. So, hey, by all means, check out Star Realms. It's free to play on Steam and other platforms. You can try it out. Try out that base game. I think the uh, the full version is 2 bucks. So, I mean, if you're excited about Hero Realms, but you want to play a more polished, finished version of it for right now, this is your option. And it's a really good option and, a, and an affordable one at that. Uh, anyway, thank you for listening. Please like and subscribe. I uh, really appreciate that. Uh, lets me know that you know what type of content you like, what games you want me to be playing more of. And I will see you next time. <laughs>